In this lesson we're going to look at beta particles and beta particle decay. To do that we're going to take carbon-14 as an example again. But before we look at carbon-14, what actually happens when beta decay occurs? Well, what actually happens is that a neutron decays into a proton and an electron. Okay, so we write P for proton and, and an electron. And the electron in this decay process is known as a beta particle. Okay, so if you consider the charge involved, then you'll know that the neutron has zero charge, proton has charge of plus one, and that has to be balanced therefore by the electron, which is a charge of minus one. And we can write the atomic numbers and mass numbers for each of these. So neutron has a mass number of one, but it has an atomic number of zero because it has zero charge, whereas the proton has a mass number of one and it has an atomic number of one because it has a plus one charge. And the electron has a mass number of zero and an atomic number of minus one because it has a negative charge. And as we'll see later in all of these nuclear equations, the mass numbers and the atomic numbers must add up. So we've got one here is equal to one plus zero, and then zero here is equal to one plus minus one. Okay, so what actually happens when this neutron decays into a proton and a beta particle in the context of an element such as carbon-14? Well, we remember that carbon-14 is an unstable isotope of carbon, it's not happy actually with the number of neutrons that it has, so it wants to decay into a more stable nucleus. So these neutrons and protons are represented by this diagram here. You can see that carbon-14 has got eight neutrons and it's got six protons. Okay, and uh, before we look at its decay, let's just make a copy of this. As we've just mentioned, it's not happy with this arrangement. It wants to lose one of its neutrons. So what's going to happen is one of the neutrons is going to decay into a proton and an electron or beta particle. OK, so let's choose this one. There it goes. It decays and we get our electron being emitted or beta particle. And as a result, we can bring this one down to join the protons. So what we've actually got now is seven neutrons and seven protons. And because we've got seven protons, that means we've got a new element because the number of protons identifies the element. So we now have an element with an atomic number of seven. That means nitrogen. OK, and it has the same mass number. OK, seven and seven is 14. So as a result of this beta decay, the mass of the nucleus hasn't changed. That still remains as 14, but its atomic number has. So we have a new element. In other words, whenever a beta decay occurs, then we move up one in the periodic table. So we're going from carbon to nitrogen in this case as a result of beta decay. So in the next lesson, we'll have a look at what happens in alpha emission.